Morning chaps, it is a gorgeous March morning. The sun is out, so of course I'm out walking about, exploring, trying to find some really cool stuff. I had an idea this morning that I really fancy some fresh fruit for my breakfast. So I'm out and about, I'm looking around, I'm walking actually in the car park of uh, this place over here. And I'm gonna see if I can buy myself some fresh fruit, because that's what I really fancy. It's good for you, it's healthy, hopefully it's local produce. But one thing that's gonna really guide my hand this morning is that I won't buy any fruit that's anything to do with plastic. Now hopefully, this is a massive supermarket, they should have plenty of fresh fruit that doesn't have anything to do with plastic. So join me on this little mission that we've got to find my breakfast. Ultimately, if I don't find what I'm after, simple, beautiful, gorgeous local fruit that's nothing to do with plastic, then I've made the decision that I simply won't have fruit today. Now I think that's a really valid point. And the point is this, we live in this world of convenience, this world where everything is available to us the whole time. And so we have to change because convenience is destroying this planet because too many of us are on this planet making everything so convenient for ourselves because we want everything now. So we have to change. And so in my case, I'm saying, right, I'm looking for fruit today. If I don't find proper fruit, local fruit, fruit that's not been transported from miles away and certainly not stored in plastic, then today I won't buy it. And it's these sorts of thoughts that we've all got to start coming up with, no matter how big or small, we've all got to sometimes just say, no, I can't have this today because it's no good for me. It's not good quality. It's not good for the planet. It's not good in the long term. And so sometimes we just have to say no to convenience. So right, let's wander in the shop, see what we can find. It's totally live, totally improvised. I'll probably get kicked out, but we'll see what happens. Right, let's do it. Yes, I found it, wonderful fruit. It's all in plastic tubs, so I'm not buying this, even though it is gorgeous. Beautiful colours, really rich, really full of flavour, I'm sure, but I can't buy it because it's in plastic. No. no. We've got some kiwis. Uh, no. Let's look at some veg, maybe some veg. Uh, no. No, ain't gonna happen here, is it? Bingo, mangoes, wonderful. In cardboard, more mangoes down there. Coconuts as well, this is excellent. Other than that, Everything is out of bounds to me today, so mango it is. If I was after vegetables for my tea, I'd go for those. Locally produced and they're in cardboard, so that's a good thing, tomatoes. But there's millions that aren't. They're all in plastic. Peppers as well look great. Go for those, there's no packaging, but those ones, they're in packaging, so I wouldn't buy them. This is crazy. All around, all around, all around, everything is bagged up in plastic, it's insane. Well, that didn't work very well. All I've got is a pomegranate and a mango. First shop of the day, oh sorry, after you. No, after you, after you. <laughs> First shop of the day and all I've got is these two. Not a very substantial breakfast, especially not for a, a family of four. So I better carry on my wanderings. Right, I'm gonna find another shop now and see what we can do. I'm hoping by the end of this little session, after popping into several shops, we may actually have something sufficient to make one breakfast for one family. Wish me luck, this is crazy. When I'm talking to you like this, I really don't mean to patronize. I'm really not telling you what to do. I promise you I'm not. And if you feel like I am, then I sincerely apologize. That is not my intention. All I'm doing is trying to express to you what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking as I assess myself and my life as a human, as an animal, and what I'm doing on a day-by-day -day basis in this gorgeous, gorgeous world all around us. I'm looking at myself and saying, how am I actually bringing benefit to this world with my activities? Every time I walk out my door, I'm looking at stuff, I'm buying stuff, I'm getting involved in stuff. How much of that is really positive for the world all around us? I haven't been on this planet very long at all. I'm only 44 years old and that is nothing in Earth time. But I look back over my history, my tiny, tiny history, and I look at the world that we're in now. Oh, sorry. I'm actually walking about in the road, so I've got to be real careful. But um, I look at my life as it's been, and I think, my goodness, in my lifetime of things becoming more convenient, more available, the world commerce is everywhere now. We can get anything, anytime. In that history, have things actually got better for us? Because we think that we have. But when you look at it, they haven't. We're not any happier. We're just a whole lot busier a whole lot more involved in everything all of the time, which is thoroughly exhausting. And that is no good for anybody. In my tiny, tiny history on this planet, all things are doing are getting worse. This doesn't make any sense. We're the most modern humans we've ever known. The greatest humans that we've ever known. And yet look all around us. We live in this world of commercialism, of short-term gains, of disposability. 
And we can't carry on like this because look all around you. Look at the news, look at the statistics. Things are getting worse. Biodiversity is dying out. Habitat is being destroyed. More and more diseases are occurring. More and more extremes of weather. All of these terrible things are happening. And we, as humans, me and you, are creating them. Can't we see this? And so, me, as an individual, I have to make a stand. I have to think about this and think, I don't want this anymore. So how are we gonna combat this? Can we go around just blaming politicians, blaming those countries miles away from us who will never go to, saying, oh, it's all their fault. Let's pass the buck, shall we? Or perhaps if we look all around the world, we realize that there is one problem, one united problem. And that problem is us, is humans. We create these issues and it's only up to us to act, to do something about it, to actually remedy these issues for ourselves, but most importantly, for our future generations. I've realized that we, humans, adult humans, are like children. We live in a day and age where everything, and I mean everything, is available to us all of the time, 24 seven, doesn't matter which country it is, you can order it online, do whatever you need to do, and it'll be with you. That is remarkable. If only the methodology by which it gets to us, by the way it's created, was far more environmentally friendly for the wild environment, but for us as well, in the long term. But it isn't. We're like children. I want this, I want that, I need to do this, I need to do that. What's wrong with us? Where are the parents? The parents saying, no, you can't. Well, we are the parents. We have to be the parents to us, our own spoilt children. And we have to step in and we have to say, no, we can't have it. I can't have blueberries today, because unfortunately for me, blueberries are not in season here right now. Blackberries, whatever it may be, you can't have it today. And that is the decision, the power that is in our hands right now, is that we can decide what we do and don't do today. And I personally am choosing that today, despite my absolutely craving blueberries, I today can't have them. Simple as that. Rob, you can't have your blueberries unless they're locally produced and you can find them not in plastic. That's the only condition for me now. If I can find them like that, I'll get them. If I can't, then sorry, spoiled brat Rob. You can't have blueberries today. Right, I'm just arriving at my new uh, shop. Hopefully I'm gonna get some more for breakfast. Wish me luck. I'm at one of these massive, massive shops that you might know all about. And uh, let's show you where I am. Hopefully we'll have a bit of success. I'm really hoping we have some success in this place here. Let's see what we can find. They join me, let's do it. Packages, packages everywhere. Look, apples, apples, aha. Finally some fresh apples. At least we're gonna eat some apples. Thank goodness for that. But bags, 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 bags. Oh my goodness, look at this lot. So convenient, look, so beautifully packaged up. This is great, I can just take this home, no problem. It's not gonna go off, but look. We've always gotta start thinking, we must. It's essential that we start thinking. Once I've eaten this fruit, it'll be gone in a day or two's time. What's gonna to happen to all this packaging? By my buying this packaging, by my being involved with this packaging, by my investing my money in this packaging, I've liberated it, I've made it exist. It lives in the world now. Today it's convenient for me because it's got my pineapple in it, but tomorrow it's out there somewhere. Now we assume, oh, it's gonna be recycled, everything's fine. Well, to a degree, sure, recycling does occur, but the thing you've got to think about with plastic is it can only be recycled so many times. It'll get recycled, recycled, recycled. That's assuming it's recyclable, but it'll get recycled only so many times and then, it, sooner or later, it either breaks down and it gets released in the environment or sooner or later, it just falls off the back of a recycling truck. Either way, by you and me, buying it as a consumer we are liberating plastic in the world and i don't want this plastic in the world right now everyone's complaining about plastic oh it's such a mess oh it's destroying the oceans all oh, turtles are swallowing it it's a terrible thing but the thing is this is a drop in the ocean the issues that we've got right now with this plastic is occurring not from plastic that's being created today it was created years ago and nowadays we are creating more and more plastic than ever before in history and so of course sooner or later what goes around comes around that plastic is going to be on your doorstep tomorrow on your kids doorstep tomorrow on your grandchildren's doorstep tomorrow and so we as consumers we have one choice we can choose right now not to liberate the plastic by simply saying thanks very much i don't want to buy it i'll leave it thanks very much right my battle continues i absolutely give up I don't want to buy any of this stuff. This is ridiculous. It's not getting any better. Look at it just down here. Look at these guys. 
Recyclable bags, but they're still made of plastic. Reusable bags, but still made of plastic. We have to start thinking about these things. As much as they say they're reusable, recyclable, that only goes on for so long. The fact is, we must stop buying plastic. It doesn't go away. It serves us for such a short period of time, but it lasts for so long, and all it does is cause us issues. I'm actually leaving this shop now. I simply can't buy anything here. It's done my head in. It really, really has done my head in. So I'm literally acting as a consumer, I'm the most powerful person in the world. You are the most powerful person in the world. It's not the politicians. It's not those with money, it's us. Because there's so many of us as consumers, we're the most numerous humans on the planet. And we can decide with our feet. We decide where we invest our money. We, by buying stuff, by looking at stuff and investing in it with our money, we are creating it and allowing it to exist in this world. And so we consumers, if we're all united together in one common thought, that we don't want plastic here anymore. If we unite and say, no, I won't buy it, then it will hit them in the pocket, which is exactly what we've got to do. As long as we carry on buying their product, they will carry on manufacturing our product. And that's the way it works. But if we say, no, I don't want flimsy lids on things anymore. If you know the repercussions of it and you don't buy it, then we will hit them in the pocket and it will stop being in our world. And I don't want it in our world. For me, for you, for future generations, the world does not need all of this plastic. The power is with you.